We're asked all the time about the kitchen area in the back of our Forerunner. Today we're going to show and tell you all about it in this complete kitchen walk around video. If something we're about to show you piques your interest, we've likely made a detailed video about it. So check out our channel and we hope you consider subscribing. Now a quick overview, then we'll get to the details on everything. It starts with an aftermarket steel bumper with dual swing outs. Ours is from CBI Off-Road. We chose it for its super heavy duty hinges. All right, let's open it up and see what we've got. As you can see, everything is pretty simple and compact, uh, sitting very low. We like a low center of gravity in the vehicle and it's always kind of nice to be able to see out the back window. Starting on this side in the back is our power panel. This has all our switches, outlets. We have a secondary battery underneath the hood that sends power back here to power the fridge, lights, and uh, blenders, whatever else we need back here. And next is a rather large fridge. It's a dual compartment Dometic, uh, 75 quart on a Dometic slide. And this is all mounted on a secure base on, that's bolted onto the floor that we made. In the windows, we have Moly panels that hold a lot of stuff that we need really quick access to. Over here, we have our solar panel and an air compressor back in there. And last, but certainly not least, is our drawer system that we made. This we built in our shop. We have a complete video on it. And we also have a video on another drawer system that we built for the FJ that's a lot simpler than this. But in the bottom drawer, this is where we keep all the heavy stuff. We've got tools, recovery equipment, uh, repair parts, all that. In the top is where we keep our stove, utensils, knives, toilet paper. In the middle drawer is our countertop. And now for all the details. So we get into camp. First thing we do if it's raining is put a tarp over us. Then we get out the stove and we put it over here on this fold down table. And here is the line from our propane tank. Grab the stove. And here's a little regulator we need. Now we should probably wash our dirty hands before we go touching any food. We need a sink. And here it is. That goes over here. Got another little swing down table. We have this cover over this just to keep all the mud and junk off of it while we're driving. But there is our faucet. First, we turn the power onto our water pump. And we have a video on our channel on how we made this. There's a submersible pump down here. This jug here is just for drinking water. What it does is it has this huge filter in here and that cleans up the water so it tastes better and it won't give us any kind of uh, um, giardia or viruses or bacteria or any of that in our drinking water. Our fridge, like I said, it's rather large. It's 75 quarts and it's a dual zone. Um, you, can, you can regulate these the, the temperature differently in each zone. When it's just Mary and I going out, we typically just use the larger side of the fridge we turn that on and leave the smaller side turned off and we just use this for storing all of our dry goods our our boxes of food cans and such we have uh, this insulated cover on it that seems to help quite a bit uh, lights inside for at night we also will put a blanket over if it's really hot or sun's coming in the back window we'll put a blanket over the top of here first back in here underneath this cutting board is all our cleaning supplies and some extra toilet paper. This has all our soaps, rags, uh, garbage bags, 
zip locks, all that good stuff is back in that one. Now you probably noticed when I took the sink out that this drawer is where we keep all of our pots, pans, plates, and cups. We have, of course, a coffee pot. And here's a couple of pots. It's always nice to have ones that nest together like this in order to save some space. This is a steel frying pan that we rarely ever use. Pot holders. This is a toaster. And this is the frying pan we always use. Good old cast iron. We always use cast iron. And a cutting board. And this is a splatter shield for the frying pan. To eat off of, we just use simple plastic plates. Um, cups. And again, these nest together. Now you may be asking, so where's your bowls at? Well, we actually use cups for bowls. Just saves on space and uh, they work just fine. In the top drawer are our utensils. Stove went here, remember. We have two trays of utensils. We've got salt and pepper, uh, a big knife, that toilet paper, a spare, tank of fuel just in case something happens with that paper towels now as far as utensils we tend to keep it pretty simple we have a big spoon and this also has little lines in here that'll work as a measuring cup this is the handle to that steel frying pan that I already showed you some tongs here's a whisk for eggs a nasty old can opener. Uh, here's a spare can opener. You probably wouldn't recognize that if I didn't point that out to you, but this is an old school can opener. They never break, but they're really a pain in the ass to use, but just in case the big one breaks. And a spatula that we cut the handle off to make it fit in the drawer. Now for eating utensils, uh, we typically just use some ratty old utensils from our kitchen at home but our daughter bought us a couple of sets of really nice uh, anodized stuff so we use that now a couple of metal straws a corkscrew that's mary's favorite tool a couple of knives now this has become my favorite kitchen knife this is an Eldris Lightweight from Mora Knives. And what I really like about it is there's no space between the plastic handle and the stainless steel blade where food can get in there. And it stays really nice and sharp and it's small. It has a nice grippy handle too. And a sheath so we don't cut our hands off. Now for a lot of the stuff that we're mentioning in this video, we provide links to it down in the video description below. Now here's something that we use also, it's a crock pot. We don't use it very often, but it sure comes in handy on road days where we're on mostly pavement. Uh, we can put a roast in here, baked beans. We, have, we also have uh, a recipe playlist on our channel, check it out. We use this a couple of times in it. But what we do is we've got a couple of eye bolts in the utensil drawer. And on the top of our drawer system, we have some, some threaded inserts that we screw these into. Then we take that steel frying pan that we rarely ever use, put it down, put the crock pot in there, take and plug it in over here at our panel. And there's a bungee cord. And then we take this bungee and just bungee it down solid so it's not going to fly forward and hit the driver in the back of the head with a crock pot full of baked beans. And that works really good for us. We also put in a light system back here working off a switch right there. You can't see it right now because it's broad daylight, but we have LEDs, two of them right here pointing straight down onto the surfaces here. We've got another LED here and another one pointing straight down on the stove. 
and one back in here so we can see the top of uh, the fridge and the top here. We use this for counter space also. Another option for lighting is this one right here. This is pretty bright, but uh, this will help us set up camp in the dark and such. This amber comes off, take this bungee strap off here, and it pivots, you know, every which way. All right, meal's over, time to clean up. Our garbage goes in the trash room. Inside here, we have a plastic kitchen garbage can. That way it's a lot easier to get the trash in and out of here. Behind it, we have a, I'm not gonna pull it out because it's a little tough. Yeah, I will, here we go. It is a collapsible toilet seat. And to go with that, there's a folding shovel right here, uh, more toilet paper, some wag bags that's in case you have to pack out your poop. We have those here. Bug spray, sunscreen over here. Now this has definitely seen better days. Um, trash roos typically don't last that long, especially if you leave them on all the time and they get out in the sunlight, they, they really degrade fast. Uh, we're looking for a replacement for this. We hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and consider subscribing to our channel. And check us out on Instagram and Facebook.